Wow. Uh, I've got a video for you today. It's an experience, I guess. Footage, recording, evidence of this game just blowing my mind from moment to moment. Man, Star Citizen is so cool. I've, uh, I, I was in the recording session, obviously, with Level Cap. Uh, thank you, by the way, Level Cap, for uh, showing me the ropes a little bit in our recording session. I hope to do some more stuff with you soon. But I was there in the recording sessions going, wow, this looks incredible. And then I've just finished editing this incredibly long video. And throughout editing, I was just continually blown away by the moments that we experienced. Like, I really hope this video reminds veterans of Star Citizen how awesome this game is. It's easy to, like, get used to the game. But I think if you show this game to new players you kind of reminded on actually how impressive it all is. So I hope both veterans of Star Citizen, Star Citizen doubters, and like people who have no idea what Star Citizen is, this is just proof of this game <laughs> blowing, if not just my mind, for hours on end. It was really, really cool. So I should say, by the way, this entire video is level cap showing me for the first time microtech uh, also i was showing him my constellation phoenix which i don't think he'd seen before so it was a really cool kind of like sharing experience between us anyway guys hope you enjoy the video if you do and you want to support the channel just give this video a thumbs up it really does go a long way in supporting me and the channel and if you haven't already and you want to make sure you don't miss future star citizen videos which by the way, we've got loads of cool stuff on the way. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, and uh, I'd love to have you on board. So, yeah, without further ado, grab your snacks, grab your drink, kick back and relax, because this is a long one. And, uh, yeah, hope you have your mind blown, like I have. It was uh, pretty special. Oh, uh, last thing before I begin, if you want to get into Star Citizen at any point, remember to use my referral code, just so it gives you some delightful extra in-game credits when you sign up uh you want all the money you can get in this game to buy fancy nice ships so definitely go ahead and use the referral code and also you'll be helping us uh reach the javelin which is a really cool ship i hope to show you guys one day but anyway enjoy this video is awesome ego so there there's the ship on the back can you see yeah that? oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, that, and there's there's finally some light out here we can see stuff and this is the cargo bay i was talking about Oh, is this as far down as it goes? There's no way you're going to get uh, an Argo on here because no, I think it's too tall. Yeah, okay. I thought maybe if, well, you if it was going to You could definitely get a hover bike on here. Oh, can you not take the cargo? Bit? Yeah, you can, but okay. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's just the button's really small. There you go. Oh, yeah. Just, this is just not the entrance. I feel like this is... Oh, did I ruin the... I mean... The effect. A little. That's fine. I forgive you. Over here. Oh. <laughs> and then... Oh, no. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. No. Were we about to be trash compacted? Yeah, we were. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> I would have felt really bad. <laughs> here we Part go. Part of the course was start. What? Yeah. Oh, man. Nice. This huh? is nice. And there's dude. meant to be a hot tub here. People moan at me in my videos for not pointing it out but the button doesn't work so i don't know what people want from me it doesn't work. oh what but there are a ship without a hot tub i know those bastards but Dude, it looks really cool just looking out the window of this oh the dude the passenger seat on this is cool <gasps> you can play cards mm -hmm. uh are they actually no super nice i have seen a ship though where you can play chess which is pretty neat I can't unsit now. <laughs> that, that's where you're at. Uh, how do I disengage seat? Just hold Y, surely. Oh, yeah. Right. There you go. Duh. Duh. I think that seat had the recline button. I hit something and something changed on it. This bar is very nice. Oh, my God. I know. It's a good thing this uh, all this um, booze respawns when your ship explodes. <laughs> <laughs> it's for free. They don't charge you for the refill as well. It's lovely. It's nice. So this over here is how you get in the uh, Archimedes. Oh man, that is cool. So we'll give that. Ooh, we can just fly out, and you can have a little. Okay, cool. Yeah, I want to check out the cockpit, and then let's we'll take off, and I'll mm -hmm. run back to the Archimedes. 
I love the um, the glass ceiling, man. Mm -hmm. It's a nice ship, isn't it? I know. A little fish tank in there. I need a fish tank in my room, man. This ship is I nice think it might be one of my favorite ships in the game because it, it kind of does a little bit of everything. So there's the two turret yeah. situation, and then, yeah, you got your pilot and co-pilot seats. Oh, so Millennium Falcon, dude. Mm -hmm. But the ship does have a huge issue. Which, if you get in a co-pilot seat, you'll see there is, like, freaking black bars right in the middle. Which is not ideal. Oh, I see what you're saying. Is that the same on all constellations? Uh, I'm not sure, honestly. It does look similar. It does look a bit similar. Wow. Microtech is a freaking... I've, oh. You know what? I've never been down to Microtech yet. Genuinely. Wait, What? Yeah, because I've just... You haven't been to the coolest location I know. I, I feel like I've been saving it for okay, a special on. occasion. Let me, let me um get out into the little snub fighter and I'll, I'll fly alongside. I want to try this the Archimedes out, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you hit the gas, I'm going to fall on my face. <laughs> hmm, tempting. I, have you done that yet with multi-crew? Uh, somebody's ship and they just accelerate and you just fall down. <laughs> no, but that sounds hilarious. Okay, so I'm seeing the Archimedes here. How do you get in it? Okay, the UI just didn't pop up. Interesting. I'm in now. Okay. And then... Okay, so, yeah, how do we launch? So it took me a while to, re to work it out, but I think it's just landing gear. If you hold N. N yeah. I think if you hold it. Oh, you have to start it up, obviously. I'm just, I'm oh, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. I tapped it. And oh, it worked? It said, yeah. Here oh, we there go. you go. Oh, there you go. Sick. Right. Now just, yeah, go down a little bit, and then you'll be... Sick. That is awesome. Wait, wait, wait. That's... Oh, the... <gasps> God, this is... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's really fast. Hang on. Oh, that's such a good screenshot. Here, I'm nice. turning my movement down. I'll... Oh, hang on. The only Did thing with the works? Archimedes, it obviously... Well, unless I'm wrong doesn't have quantum so you can't obviously fly it without um yeah it's a snub yeah so it's a snub fighter um basically it's like yeah it's so cool looking though oh i want to see how yeah so the wings fold up on this when you land it mm -hmm. isn't that cool so yeah you can fit these things in just about anything that's why people like them and the dps is actually quite good yeah so they're fast they're nimble dude this is sick <laughs> You want to head down to Microtech somewhere? Yeah. Do you want to uh, try getting back on, or do you want to just fly that for a while? Oh, uh, yeah. You want to fly down through the Atmo? Uh, sure. Oh, my. That is so cool. <laughs> just did a fly by. Like, gives me an option to quantum jump to you. If you got to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Isn't that neat? Yeah, that's awesome. You're sort of like, well, what are the properties of quantum jumping in this game? Like, you can just jump to people, basically? Mm. Wait, where are you going? What do you mean, where am I going? Oh. What? You what? just, your ship accelerated super fast, and I was like, what happened? I thought you were quantum jumping. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, there's uh, forested areas, <gasps> but they're not as common. Okay. Yeah, if you want it, if you want, I can redock at some point. We can go to a forested area. Yeah, let's check that out. Sounds cool. Oh, we're in Atmo now. My ship is flying. Uh. Weird. Okay, hang on, ship. Should let's we go? To, okay, let's try and get back up. There's definitely something going on with my targeting. There is another the guy just like hovering around us. FYI. That's the police. That's the police. He's oh, okay. Us. He's scan. Okay, I didn't get that. I think. So he's scanning you, not me. Interesting. <laughs> what are you guys doing out here? I, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't get Yo, him. Why is he looking at me? He's just, he's following me around. He's seen if you... Oh, yeah, he's super on me, dude. I was in a quantum drive mode, even though this ship doesn't have quantum drive. Oh, nice. That's a and great feature. it wasn't feature. letting me target. So that's cool. Yep. Hang okay, on. This I'll should work now. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to miss the money shot. Hang on. Okay. Oh, okay. oh, oh. Sorry. Oh, Ow. Oh, yep, just bear okay? with me. Yep, just fell over. <laughs> okay. Okay, go for it, go for it. Oh, you want to be down here? Mm-hmm. Okay. I actually don't see the thing yet. Oh, so thing okay, so if you go back now, if you go way far back, 
and then target my ship. Do you see it? Do you see the, uh, can I like go through the gap? This is weird science. I need to check out. Okay. Oh my okay. God, you can. That is actually pretty. <laughs> you got on your ship? Okay, so I reselected your ship. I see the like general target around it. I'm gonna move in closer. Let me see you through the glass. Are you in the interior of your oh, ship wait. right now? I will be. Hang on. Where is he? I'm straight overhead. Hey, <laughs> that is actually terrifying. Please don't shoot me. Oh, you just went over the sun. That was really cool. <laughs> nice. So when I get that one, there's still a red circle somewhere, and I don't know what that red circle... There we go. Oh? Okay. I got it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did They're anyone so have a timer? Confusing, dude. Yeah, I know. I know. In a quick fifty minutes. Wow, are you serious? <laughs> no. Okay. Oh I would have believed God. you though. <sighs> we did it though. Well done. I got it. Good so job. I didn't understand that UI at all. I'm just like there's squares and circles. Yeah, and it's I mean, and obviously it's and impossible red. for me to like explain. Yeah. Oh wow! You, yeah, you can just. This doesn't mess with you, does it? No, that's fine. Oh wait, there's another ship down there. Are you serious? Oh, that might have been a water drop on the glass. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> wow. Good with the color. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just trying to land a ship. It's fine. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, am I messing with all your beauty shots? No. Nope. Just gonna messing with the this. landing. You're gonna have cold play in the background, and then I'm gonna stand in frame. This looks very cool does i had no it's idea there was trees in this game is that lame um no it's just kind of cool that you've like been enjoying it for so long i like, know There's trees yeah i know <laughs> i had no idea there was like earth like sounds kind of weird but you know what i mean like earth like planets i thought it was all ice yeah wow look at the grass <laughs> that's oh man i know dude you know what i want in this game is um they're gonna have aliens, alien life forms like no, crab really? creatures and yetis and that whatever. That sounds you terrifying. Know. And like, you'll at some point, I assume you'll be able to be like a game hunter, so you could just like go to alien plants and like hunt the species. Oh my goodness, this is cool! Look at this. It's like a right? fucking field. What game is this? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm just getting so excited about. The weirdest so stuff funny. right now. I've been watching your videos. I'm like, oh, you've been playing a lot of Star Citizen. Nope. And you're like, there's planets? <laughs> I'm just moon hopping. Wow, cool. this looks awesome. Yeah, you know, there's like tanks and stuff in this game too, right? I've seen tanks, yeah. Yeah. So like, yeah, people have been practicing like full on ground assault warfare and whatnot. This is yeah, a, isn't Microtech beautiful? Yeah, no, this is a really cool place. I'm going to hang out here a little bit more. Should we get a ground vehicle or something? Have a little tour? Uh, yeah, yeah. So there's there should be facilities that spawn ground vehicles. You can you can also spawn one at New Babbage if you wanted to. I could show you where the spawn location is at New Babbage if we can't find a... Usually mining facilities will have a ground vehicle spawn. Um, this is awkward. Hang on. Maybe? I have a backup. <laughs> <laughs> this you is... know what's the best part about this game is that's a real issue with yeah. like so many ships. And then somebody will be like, cool, I just flew my like $30 million spaceship to this planet and I can't get back on the ramp. <sighs> Love it. Didn't even crush the grass nope. returning the game. That's a feature. I want my money back. <laughs> I don't care if you've procedurally simulated life's world-sized planets the do you want to uh fly the ship sure i saw a reddit post the other day about this game and they're like you know like even without like substantial gameplay loops in yet they're like the gameplay is the experience just as much as anything yeah because you're constantly gawking at the game you're just like yeah oh, yeah 100 percent. like 
Just, I know it sounds really lame, but like that mountain over there looks so picturesque. And I know no one actually built that mountain. It's all procedurally generated. Like that's really yeah, cool. Yeah, right? And then on top of that, they do have the ability to, oh, is your ship on? Oh, yeah, it's ready to go. You don't turn off your engines when you land. Mm, no. That's a, a uh, good practice. Yeah. Your ship can get blown over in storms on stormy planets. But Oh, didn't know that. Uh, you know what? That's a fun one to figure out on your own. Yeah. <laughs> Here, well, let's do some low flying, man. Yeah, I forget how big this thing is, actually. <laughs> I'm like, go, it's go nowhere in, near to me. It's go like you got like... engines hanging off the side. Yeah. <laughs> lower to these rocks now that these pesky trees Can are I go in the way. bottom turret? That might be quite fun. I'm going to change my camera so I can... Oh, God! The uh, the ground elevator's down. Let me, oh, let yeah. Me lower that. Alright, there. It's coming back up. Okay. Can you see the turret <laughs> now as well? Uh, yeah. Okay. Here I am. Look around a little. Hmm. Oh, I think you can have staggered. Oh, yeah, yeah. Staggered. Oh, okay. Interesting. Not sure why you would want that, but... It is pretty low. That's cool. Oh my word, that was an epic screenshot right there. Woohoo! We got hills. Hmm. Think this thing can handle an in atmo barrel roll, alright? <laughs> Only one way to find out. Oh my god, it is slow! Yeah, no. You are this in VTOL mode, by the way. I don't know if that has it. Oh. I don't know if that. Uh, no, I'm not. Any. I'm not in VTOL mode. Oh, the VTOL things are open at the front. That's weird. Well, I just turned it on. Press now it I'm again. Switching it off. I just turned it on and then off again. Okay, it so must be bugged VTOL for me. things up front. Yeah, like the flaps will come out. You see the blue rings near the front. So mm. when you're not in VTOL mode, the like doors close and they disappear. But also, I'm a bit unsure whether or not VTOL is even in this game yet. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. This flaps up front. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this, this area no is so cool. You see, I know. You right? see that mountain on the Look right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the yeah, snow cap. Over that. Let's do a sweet flyby. Do you use track IR with this game? No, I literally have one on order though. Because did you get the Toby or track IR? Uh, got the Toby. Yeah, I got one on order too. I'm switching over. Apparently, Dude, look at this it makes like this looking around kind of really good, but I've never used anything like that before. Oof. That we is... barely cleared that, dude. I was holding up. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> Fooled me. That looked classy. Yeah, no, I was intentionally skimming it. Mm -hmm. Dude, look at these hills. It's awesome. Oh, God. I switched my camera to like this weird view. I got outside view and it's like, <laughs> look like we we're crashing. Oh, that oh that's a close. floating tree. I found a bug. I want a refund. <laughs> you should send it. You should take a picture <laughs> and circle the tree and send it in. Excuse me. Hey, guys. Um, I was playing your game until I found this bug. Yeah. Also, I'm not going to tell you where it is, and that might annoy you. You just have yeah. to look for it. This is, I'll, give you, I'll tell you what planet it's on, but you're going to have to do the rest. So, so, have you heard about the pyro stuff? Thing down up there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. man. A uh, whole new system. Uh, it's... This doesn't look good, but the next peak over there looks like we could set it down, maybe. I have a question about the tracking situation. Yeah. So, to me, moving your head to move the camera seems really weird, but is it less weird when you actually do it? It's less weird. Okay. And um, as soon as you get used to it, like, it honestly doesn't take very long to get used to it, and now it's second nature to me. And when I'm in, like, a dog <laughs> Start fight, twitching your head side to side. That's really funny. <laughs> Why isn't it working? Do you see? Do you see my character? Uh, no. I was, I mean, oh, I thought you were telling me to do that. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, you are you're just giving me an example. I was yeah, like, I'm yeah. doing it. <laughs> you know, it's, um, it's very cool, man. Mm. Um, so let's see. This peak looks a little iffy but you know what we'll figure it out okay i forgot that this ship if we like, can... transforms completely when it puts down its landing gear mm -hmm. if right. we can get Should out and walk on, on this peak that would be actually insane yeah we should be able to oh nice it's flat right here 
All right, I need to get out well, of this situation. Uh, uh, you need to go maybe. left. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like rotating my camera, and I'm like, oh, this ground is not suitable for landing. This looks okay. We might have to use the cargo ramp, though. Is it worth one of us staying on just in case it launches the ship into the sky? Um, well, hang on. <laughs> Once I kill the engines, we'll know. Okay. Okay, engines are off. All right, let's do this. Oh, that landing gear looks precarious. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it, so I'll take your word for it. You'll enjoy. You know what? It's um, it's dynamic landing gear that okay. adapts to the terrain, which is impressive. Nice. I don't think you're going to be able to get out with the front elevator. You're going to have to use the cargo. Okay. But Let's this try is it. still pretty dope. Are you staying in the uh, the? No, I'm coming out with you. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll wait. Is there an atmosphere? Can I take off my helmet or do I leave it on? I guess I'll just leave yeah, it Yeah, um, you should be able to take it off. It is cold in certain areas, so that's the only thing that might uh, slow. Oh, where is the cargo ramp in this oh, ship? Oh, um, well, if you go where I am, walk yeah. towards me, and then it's like in the floor. Oh, dude, this ship is cool, man. <laughs> I'm running back. I'm like, I there swear there was a cargo ramp yeah. on that ship. <laughs> Right. This it's is so much cooler than the Constellation when I first checked out the Constellation. Oh, oh my god, dude. That oh. view. Oh, oh. No. oh, no. No, no, no. We're sliding. <laughs> oh, my god. No. Parked. That's parked. I just turned around and it's your face. Have you looked at the feet <laughs> at the front here? Look, come up here. Have you seen that? Hang on, if we put it down, this is wild, dude. Sh sh shall I put it up? Or shall no, I... we'll never get back on it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can you just stand like right there? Because that is a great screenshot. <laughs> just... oh, I'm going to watch you so. as your ship starts to slide down the hill in the background. <laughs> Alley, you remember your spaceship? Yeah. No, the, it's good down. grip. The Constellation Phoenix has good gripping feet. It's fine. As long as there's no snow movement. They, yeah, they don't look like skis at all. <laughs> now that you say it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool, though. Isn't this dope, though? Mm -hmm. I know, look at this beautiful parking job. It's not bad for having... I, I, I opted for the less flat part because it was the taller part. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These are some big guns on this ship. Yeah. I'll say, I think it would be quite useful with a full team on it. Yeah, it's supposed to be one of the better, um, like, uh, very high risk and extremely high risk target uh, hunting ships. Like, you should be able to take out a hammerhead, an NPC hammerhead in it, anyway. Literally, this looks awesome. Also, <laughs> what's going on with my ship? Yeah, did you take off your helmet? I think you... Yeah, so... um. I didn't, but it's fine. No, nope, I'm just taking the... Oh, wait, stay there, stay there, stay there. <laughs> I'm just taking the world's, like... Most awesome screenshot. It just literally yeah. looks like <laughs> you're about to ski down with the Constellation. Oh, it'd be so cool if they had skis or jetpacks in this game. They, this game definitely needs jetpacks. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, they already kind of got the tech, right? With the, like, when you're in space. Like, how different can that be? Just change yeah. the speeds and yeah, stuff? Yeah, you put some gravity into it and whatever. Right. Definitely didn't pick the right outfit for doing epic screenshots. <laughs> <laughs> like, look how cool we are. That ship is perfectly parked. Perfect. You know what? If you just rotate the camera about 45 degrees, it looks like I parked it on <laughs> flat terrain. You know what? It looked fine. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. No, no, no. No, wait. I kind of want to see what happens here. Okay. Uh, That's not what I was expecting at all. Interesting. All right. Yeah, I guess That's that kind of makes sense. It's kind of heavy. All right. 
We can definitely get this thing back up in the air. Well, if we can get back up into the ship. Should we try it? Now, the question is... You see, if look you at this right the... here. You see that? Yeah. This. That's our <laughs> lifeline right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the net. Okay, you know, I'm the on it. nose is a load-bearing object. All that glass. The, the horrifying thing about this is if this stops... Then we die a no. fiery death. No, nope, the nose is doing its job. Cool. Make sure we don't get crushed to death. Oh, wow. Look at the view on the skyline from here. <laughs> because of the angle. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of yeah. looks cool. It'd be fun. You know, what's funny to think is like this ship has its own gravity system inside, right? So you could you could eat dinner here just in this nauseating angle. Okay, powering on the engines. Just what would happen if you like lifted the landing gear? I wonder. You mean before taking it off? Mm. Um, okay, let's give it a try. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Smooth. I did give it a tiny bit of lift there. So yeah, no, just... it worked. I love as well how <laughs> we've been doing this for like... We did a mission and we did that for like half an hour. But the rest <laughs> of the time we've been literally doing nothing. But it's been like so much fun just exploring. I know. I know like I've got that it's it's almost funny because you're like oh I haven't been progressing my my wallet or my character mm. or my reputation and like that kind of like nags you for like half a second and then you're like wait a minute this game's amazing <laughs> I don't need to do I don't need to do any of that gamey stuff that other games do I just want to explore yeah. that's not bad actually I'm telling you it, it gets crazy cold okay so the so this this one with the orange thing here that's mm -hmm. a trading hub. Right. So you could actually go over there now, buy a bunch of like uh, I don't know one of the like natural mind resources that this base collects, mm -hmm. and then go and fly it over to like New Babbage and sell it there for profit. Like oh, that's okay. kind of like the very basic level of trading right now. Trading's pretty boring at the moment, but but could um, you like make a substantial amount of money out of that or? Uh, yeah, I, your ship seems like it's got decent cargo. You won't make a huge amount. If you had like a Hercules, you can start making more mm. per run. Okay. But yeah, if you buy the cargo and you go back to your Hercules, you'll see all these cargo boxes in the cargo bay. It's kind of cool. So I've got the gray cat golf cart, which is actually kind of fun. And then, um, is that the, the PTV? Uh, yeah. That okay. One. Yeah, I've got that. I don't know if it's interior counts. I, I don't. I, mm. As like a. Um, the other thing I've got is the rover. Yeah, I might spawn an Ursa rover. Okay. I got there's two buttons in like the console to the right, and they both say use, but I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't know. Damn, it's not working, man. What the hell? I I have this um issue. <laughs> With ground vehicles. Yeah. There you go. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, you got it. Okay, that's working now. Oh, dude. Oh. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> You're fine. So this is full gravity. If you start doing jumps on the moons, you <laughs> get like hundreds of feet of air. It's wild. Wow. Wow, this is cool. Yeah, so they're supposed to be, um, they're gonna, once they add fauna to this game, there's gonna be like these yeti creatures that live out here. <laughs> I swear you could say anything, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> like, the amount of no, stuff. No, but doesn't it all sound awesome? I know, <laughs> every time I'm like, whoa, that sounds awesome. I want to go Yeti hunting in an Ursa rover and one dude's just like on the turret mowing them down. Is there going to be like a trade situation for a Yeti? Gosh, I, I hope people are wearing Yeti skins in this oh, game. Oh, that, that would be hilarious. <laughs> Got my Microtech Yeti fur. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You could um, line your... Oh, you could line your bedding in your uh, Phoenix. Yeah, so or like uh, make a fur. coat or something. Right? Yeah, it's or cold. a rug. You know, hmm. when I, I, like uh, you know how they have those bear rugs with the open mouth. Yeah, yeah. The Just a yeti. I have no idea where we're going. Okay. The only thing I'll say is if we get more than thirty kilometers away from the constellation, it will despawn, because that's a bug apparently. 
Ah. Dude, look how much snow is on that tree. Oh, dude, that's cool. So I'm, I'm driving from the uh, outside of the rover. The controls are all wacky for ground vehicles. Mm -hmm. But my um, helmet cam is aiming the turret. So I'm like... Oh, weird. Yeah, you're, it's, you're kind it's, of pointing it's your head very much on. weirding me out. Where are uh, Whoa. Yep. Hey! They definitely programmed in that Did like on your wheels. Did write you up sort of thing? Yeah. Oh, look, there's the uh, landing pad. That's kind of cool. I mean, we're pretty... You, you go that way, I think we'll get to the, out of the snow. Because we weren't that far into the snow. I think it was, like, right on the edge. Yeah. Also, allegedly, they're going to uh, have seasons, too, in this game, which is insane. Is that with the, like, uh, orbiting the planet, the sun sort of a situation? I guess. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, but <laughs> it sounds so crazy to me because it's just like you could be visiting and like making a YouTube video about like this location and then somebody will come here and it'll be like, it's covered in 10 feet of snow or or it's like green and yeah. lush with life. You know, it's going to be like cool. You'll be like, yeah, depending on what time of year you play the game, the environment is going to look different. Oh, wow. This is a fun. Whoa. Please don't blow up. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> that was a fun jump, though. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not handling it well. Oh. Nice. It's got a nice... You know what? I'll buy that this that this vehicle has auto-stabilization tech. In it. <laughs> it's a bit of a stretch, but okay. I mean, we're flying through space at, like... Yeah. A no, if you start speed, asking questions, you know? the whole thing falls apart. I get it. If we can quantum travel, we can have gyro stabilized cars, okay? Yeah. That's how the that's how the I mean they could just works. invent a thing where the wheels can like move to the other side and the cockpit spins. Like I could see that. That would work. Oh Think we can fit two? Uh I know you can fit one, I doubt we can fit two. Oh yeah, there's no way to get a second one on here. You will have to turn it off because I think the turret, like, um, yeah, you're probably right. Like, right. sticks up and it might jolt around. Perfect. Okay, let's uh, press the button. Oh, 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 God! What's up? You alright? I try to open the back. Oh yeah, it's like jammed. There is the other door. Yeah. Well, it jammed into the thing. I think. <laughs> it's right. like half we'll open. Out. Weird. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty wild just parking cars on spaceships, man. I find it fascinating how they don't like rattle around and explode. Having played, oh, they did. Did they? They, okay. they, they did when it first came out. <laughs> okay. Like you couldn't do, you could barely be on a spaceship without just like warping through the wall randomly. Like wow. you go into the funniest one, and it. I think it does still happen on occasion. Mm -hmm. Is um. You'll be in like quantum travel in like a, a ship with like friends and some dude will just go through the wall <laughs> and they'll just be in quantum space forever. And he's like, guys, guys. Hello. <laughs> you're like, you're gone now, buddy. This way. See where I'm see where I'm pointing? <laughs> yes. This is how we this is how we navigate in spaceships. Okay, you just go slightly to the left. I'll and stand I know. here and I'll be like, this way? Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> this way more. <laughs> it's actually effective. Are you not aware of, um, okay, so the most expensive ship I've bought that does not exist yet <laughs> is, um, I love that. It's called the Pioneer. Mm -hmm. it's, it's from Consolidated Outland, <laughs> and it is a capital class base building ship. Wow, so that sounds cool. Think like bigger than the 890 jump. No. And it's really flat and kind of has these two prongs that come out and it lands on a planet and then turns into a factory and builds structures. That sounds like something out of like a strategy game. What the hell? Yeah, exactly. It, totally from a strategy game. So, uh, yeah, you're going to be able to build planets and settlements and have base or build bases. And so if you're in a system like Stanton, which is owned by by corporations, mm -hmm. you'll have to buy chunks of planets or moons that you want to build on. 
um, and you'll be able to claim them. So they have four by four kilometer plots and eight by eight kilometer plots. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, right. This is blowing my I mind. I think you'll be able to claim giant asteroids too. So you could build like an asteroid base if you wanted. Um, you can build space stations as well. So if you just want to build in space, but then if you go out to some place like Pyro, uh, there's no government there, so you can build wherever you want. You don't have to buy a stake. Wow. Um, but also, if somebody tries to blow up your stuff, the government's not going to come and protect you, right? Oh, They're not going to get a crime stat. So, like, if you buy your land and build something, and then somebody shoots at it or something, they're going to get a crime rating. The police might come after them, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But if, you, yeah, Pyro, it's sort of like, yeah, if you want to build, you better be able to protect it. That's crazy. Yeah. Now, granted, that's all concept, right? Yeah, I was going to say, surely the, that's not like plan. soon, right? No, I'd imagine that's kind of, that's basically end game. Oh wow. Okay. So that's probably after they implement just about every other feature. <laughs> and that's the last. Then they'll be like, list. "All right, base building," since we don't even know how it's gonna work. Nah, it's cool. There we go. Oh, <laughs> your turret hit the ship when it came out. Nice. It's so funny that the turret goes up. It's it just like, okay. literally just doesn't fit. <laughs> I like all the server banks in this in this car. Oh god! Here, let me put the door up. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of cool. Oh wow! Oh, I'm gonna put the door down. Whoa! This is nauseating. Looking at the back of this thing. <laughs> Can you imagine doing like a mission? Wow! It's really like you drift a lot, right here. Yeah. No, I I can't. I can't wait for them to um do more mission content. I can't close the back door, so that's nice. I can do it. <laughs> Gonna attempt to get into the seat. System off. System off. What did I press? Oh. oh, I got into the passenger seat, but I don't. Uh. Did that power it off here? Let me power Maybe. you on. Welcome to Robin Space Express. <laughs> Enjoy the ride. System check. Welcome to Robin Space Express. Shield. What? Well, I powered on. I'm supposed to be able to go into the remote turret from here, but can you drive? Uh, I can't move right now. Where did our ship go? There it is. Oh, just look at that. That looks so cool just out there. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> okay. It's fine. Oh, come on. <laughs> hey, now we can go. Yeah, dude, a mission where, like, we can just shoot at something. Mm hmm. It would be amazing. Oh, these rocks. Oh, nice. I can control this turret with my joystick, too. Oh, well, that, that works nicely. That shit part there looks like a freaking postcard. I know. Yeah, I do like the constellation a lot. It's it's one of the oldest ships in the game. Yeah, I, I pledged for it when it first dropped. And then, that's awesome. And then that's like, obviously I waited ages and then came back to it. Yeah, you must have waited like eight years. Yeah, or literally. I was like, I was eight just like, years later, uh, I can let's fly. Let's check out that ship I bought for like hundreds of oh, pounds. Oh, God. No, I don't know what's that. They're probably size one turrets. Oy! Oh, that is actually nauseating. <laughs> Dude, you should stare out the back of the yeah, open yeah, while I somebody's know. driving at 50 miles an hour. You're just like, oh, God, I'm going to puke. Oh, cool. I just turned on gyro. Yeah, so you have gyro mode, Ooh. and then you can turn it off. Oh. This thing's pretty durable, man. Yeah, no. It takes, takes a beating. That was um, the first iteration of ground vehicles oh, wow. was just like they would explode like, really so easily. I'm so glad I missed all of that because like coming to this experience like it is now is even yeah. even though like there are bugs. We've encountered bugs like it's still really cool. Yeah. Like I think I think it must have been like six years, five, six years ago whenever they like had their first planet tech in the game mm -hmm. and we took this rover down to a planet i believe on a constellation yeah and like it just wasn't this it was Oops. so oh my god it was so <laughs> buggy and just like everything exploded and the vehicles didn't work and people were teleporting into the planets and like Man. half of your half of your away team was dead just to bugs basically <laughs> Oh, yeah, it doors working again, I think. That's so cool. <sighs> I 
<laughs> I can't wait to see my screenshot folder when we're done. <laughs> it's like going to be like 100 photos, I'm not even joking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what I want in this game that like would totally, like I'm surprised they don't have it, but like a way to remotely control your spaceship. So like. Oh yeah, the amount of times yeah, like the ship like bounces like two feet off the ground, you just can't get it. Bounces, or maybe you go on an away mission, you're 50 kilometers away, and you're just like, do I have to run 50 kilometers? You know, just like let me <laughs> remote control my spaceship from like, say a certain distance, and you'd be limited in. Uh, what you can do, right? Yeah. Okay, let's get better. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what happens. <laughs> that's when, crazy. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, if you hit, like, afterburner or do something, that will like, knock me down. I wonder if it did it. Maybe if you hit the brakes or something. I have no idea. I know, right? The game's very impressive. It just needs a little bit more game stuff now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like... Oh, it does, uh, I feel like it's almost there, you know? Yeah, like, right now we're exploring... And like at some point the game's gonna be like, here's a mission, and then you're gonna go on it, and you're and you're just your mind's gonna be blown because it's gonna be like a basic mission where it's like, kill ten rats or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be like land on this planet now, kill ten rats, you know? And you'll be like, yeah. oh my god, ten rats. Yeah, the classic. M oh, the mission. Yeti, come on. Oh, I'm ridden out. Okay, there we go. Yeah, kill ten yetis. These ding, these yetis have been eating <laughs> my hydroponics farm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's another thing. There's no experience in this game, is there? Like, you can't no, level up your I character. I like that, though. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Uh, that well, means I don't if know. you're a badass fighter pilot, you're a badass fighter pilot. It's all skill-based, right? Yeah, that's true, actually. That's a good point. So it is. It really is. like. So they make the learning. I think the plan... Right, is to have each profession and each aspect of the game to have like significant depth and learning curves to it, mm. where it's almost kind of like you might you might almost hit a skill depth for you might almost hit the skill ceiling for say mining, but then the knowledge curve for mining, like where the good resources are and oh, yeah. could almost be <laughs> infinite, right? Yeah. So you'd be like, oh, you want to get some good like beryllium or something, you know? Come with me, and like you know where all the good mining spots are. So like. I think that's kind of the plan with the game. It's like no skill. There's not going to be a character sheet where you're like, yeah. I need more intelligence or whatever. It's I can't mine this like, rock because I'm only level two mining. Yeah. It'll be like, hey, if somebody gives you a million bucks, now you can buy whatever you want. Like now you're now you're good to go. Well, obviously not whatever you want. But mm -hmm. yeah, if you've got the ship, you can you can use it. And I like that with the armor and the weapons too. They're not like, this is your golden gun with plus 10 to like... Yeah. Um, yeah, to Yetis, you know, <laughs> plus ten Yeti damage. Mm -hmm. It's like no, it's here's here's your machine gun. If you found one, cool, you can use a machine gun now. It's not gonna like make you god tier. It's just gonna you're gonna have a machine gun. Yeah, if I you love. You can hit stuff with it. Good for you. It kind of reminds me of like the early days of Minecraft when nobody knew what was good, and I kind of love that. that like, because you kind of just got to figure stuff out on your own a little bit. I like that. Yeah. And I don't. And I don't think, like, like there will be stuff in the game that's probably not, like, the meta ship or the meta weapon, but it doesn't seem like any of it's going to be particularly bad, you know? Yeah. Like, right now, if you're, like, in, into space fighters, the Gladius is arguably one of the better light fighters, but people love using all of the fighters still. It's, if you're a great pilot... You're going to beat somebody in just about whatever light fighter you pick. Yeah, that's why I think a lot of, like, the ships have their own feel. Like, the const like you were saying, the Constellation feels really heavy, but you could get used to that and then get good at it. Yeah, and then imagine, so they're going to add weight into the game, right? So imagine you load up your Constellation with, like, cargo and a buggy or whatever, mm -hmm. and then now you're, like, coming down onto Eda, one of the moons... And it's, there's a storm raging, and you're, like, trying to hold level while setting it down on a landing pad, but you're, like, twice as sluggish as before, <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's And now cool. your hydrogen fuel is burning down because you're, like, using as much afterburner as possible. Like, I could see how even just basic shipping missions could have, like, that a certain level of depth to them. Mm. 
Not to mention if they start adding stuff from. Um, I used to. I played this game called Frontier Pilot Simulator, which oh, yeah. is a weird, weird indie game. Have you heard of it? I've not heard of it, but. Okay. It's like you fly a VTOL aircraft on like an alien planet. Oh, no. It's purely. Have you done a, a video on it? Game. I may have seen you make a video on it, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I well, think so. What was neat about it is they like took the shipping gameplay loop and said, here's a massive skill and strategy curve mm. to make it interesting. So they're like, okay, there's hazardous zones you got to avoid. But then like you could also get cargo that was G4 sensitive. So imagine like you get super valuable cargo for a mission. And it's like you can't exceed these ma this many Gs. So now when you come into to do a landing, you got to do it. You got to ease it in. You got to start deselling like yeah, 20 you gotta kilometers figure out. out. Like that kind of thing could be really neat. Yeah, it's just <laughs> they could just go on forever adding features like that, like the weight mm -hmm. and situations. Yeah, and that stuff's relatively basic compared to all the other the crazy stuff, you know. Like base building is crazy. Uh, having a hundred planned systems is crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and that's like handcrafted systems, right? Yeah. As opposed to like. Uh, Although I I swear I heard that like because they're building all this engine stuff and it's like getting a lot better or like it's becoming more feature rich the engine like stuff will come around a lot quicker in some yeah. form even if it's buggy it will come it will appear yeah well what's interesting is like i don't have have you seen that sandworm video i think so not for a long time yeah that was like it came out in like 2017 mm, i probably did so watch like, it that sandworm is on a planet called lyria 3 or something okay and like the Lyria system, if you look at the star map on their website, they have a really cool interactive star map on their site that shows all the systems, all the planned systems. Mm -hmm. It's like 10 jumps away from Stanton. <laughs> so they would have to build like 10 systems. So they're, <laughs> li they're literally working on planets for systems that are 10 jumps away already. So you're like, oh, are they just building out stuff right now? Are they just building out the whole universe? And then there's just going to be this like massive patches where it's like we added four new systems in this patch and oh just yeah like, i don't Maybe. have time to explore four systems in the next month that's insane i feel like like you say they should be doing stuff like that because i bet every time they do something like that everyone's like oh check out star citizen it's got an update sounds like it's well, pretty uh, cool yeah so if pyro comes out at the end of the year right pyro is mm. going to potentially be enough content and interesting stuff to keep people busy for quite a while right? yeah yeah it's got, I think it's got uh, six planets and six moons. Oh. I lost you. Semi-destroyed stuff and weird things. Oh, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're back. Oh, okay. I've got a very um, touchy XLR cable on my microphone. <laughs> it gets weird. I don't know how that's a thing because XLRs are supposed to be very solid. Um but whatever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. And then after Pyro is the Nick system, and then Odin. And Odin is the system that they're building for Squadron 42. Right. And Squadron 42 potentially is like a two-year-out-ish project. I, why did, I had a feeling that that was like nearly done. Why did I have that feeling? Uh, because it's been nearly done for like, you know, eight years. Right. Uh... Yeah, they brought on a, a another studio that invested in the game that's like apparently helping out a lot with Squadron 42 right now. Mm. So they're making a big push to get that done. Cool. Yeah, I feel like once they get to that point, they actually have a game to sell rather than like a pledge promise situation. Like yeah. Well, You've been blowing my mind this whole time with like... <laughs> You can uh, well, do quantum I'm surprised jumping. that you got into Star Citizen. You didn't have like a tutor or somebody who was like, hey, buddy, let me show you this game. Because it's such a hard just, game to get into. Yeah, I just kind of Without like, somebody like, let me hold your hand past all the horrible bugs <laughs> that you're going to run into. <laughs> do you want to know the first experience I had coming back from like 2015 or whatever it was? So I load up in my constellation at Area 18 and there's a guy on the train. And I'm like, really excited, there's another player. I'm like, hey, do you want to see my ship? And he's like, yeah, sure. So I get him on my ship, 
And I'm like blown away and he's talking me through like press U to start the engines. You got to phone the like airport people to let you go and all this stuff. And it took me like half an hour just to like get out of sort of the yeah. landing bay. Anyway, we go, into, right. <laughs> we go into space and then he hits the self-destruct button and leaves and I blow <laughs> up. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, welcome to Star Citizen. Oh my god, that's so funny. Yeah, no. it's just like here's your tutorial, and now and I'm just gonna. Yeah, blow now the I'm ship. done. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for your time, I guess, and uh, I hope it was worth it. So yeah, drop a comment down below if you made it this far, and uh, yeah, I'll see you beautiful people, hopefully, in another video. Take care. Bye bye. Also, massive shout out to Level Cap, who's an absolute legend. He's a really cool guy. Make sure you subscribe to his channel.